Listen. We're going to kick this off because we're here already. And we have a few people who is here who will come up and grace this mic and let you know the feelings and the issues of what happened in our homeland, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Today, today, in England, Brother Brayton Horn, with his team, Carla Duggan and him, started off in England. They had a massive protest in England. Massive, nice, beautiful. They start at, at about 7 o'clock, 7, 8 o'clock our time. And from there, they went to St. Vincent and Grenadines. Don't worry. There's only three or four of them standing in Kialakwa. But they stand. The Bible says, the Bible says, one with God will chase a thousand. And two with God will chase ten thousand. So for everyone here, you're representing maybe a thousand. Okay? A thousand people who are afraid to come out, who are scared to come out, who are worried to come out who just don't want to come out, as I tell them already, if you don't want to come out, stay home, burn a candle for us, say a prayer for us, just don't hate on us. We are all about love and love for our country, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We are here to highlight some of the issues of St. Vincent that is a burning issue in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It is not right it is not right for young girls to be abused in the country of our board. It ain't right. And a woman right is a human right. A woman right is a human right. You abuse the woman. You abuse the producer of your nation. You gotta understand that. When you abuse a woman, whenever she married a man or whatever, her boyfriend or whatever, you will never get the best of her because you don't abuse her. And that, we gotta stop in our country. We'll highlight some issues that burning, some of the economic issues, some of the, some of the agriculture issues, and we'll highlight some of that as we go along today. We have one of the foremost agriculturists here with us today. We have it today. So you will hear from some of the agricultural situation you'll hear from some of the it have a couple of lawyers supposed to come by i have to go and make a phone call to make sure one of them particularly is here because she will have something to say to us she's not a vincent but you guys will meet her when she come sometime today all right we have some social we have some social media export here today we have some internet crazies today <laughs> We have some dog walkers today. We have some babysitters today. That's what we have today. A little bit of everything. Let me tell you something. The dog walkers, the babysitters and all of them, they send millions of dollars back to our country every year. Dog walking money. Babysitting money. Going back to our country to help build it. I'm telling you here today, you and you and you and every one of us here are the upkeep of St. Vincent and the News today. If you stop sending money to St. Vincent, St. Vincent fall flat. I am telling you that. So don't feel bad when they call your dog walker because your dog walking money is keeping them up. When they call your babysitter, don't worry. Your babysitter money keeping them up. You understand? Yes. We will highlight all of that here today. The abuse of our people in St. Vincent and the Grenadines must stop. Yes. I want the Prime Minister to know. Your time is up. It's time to... Listen. If you want to go down like Mugabe, if you want to go down like Gaddafi, if you want to go down like Chalchuski in Romania, like Saddam Hussein in Iraq, if you want to go down like Hussein Mubarak in Egypt, then we will take you down with them. We ask in your nice. We ask in your nice. Bow. 
leave our country to people who could bring it back. Put us on an even keel. We have to keep it and put it back on an even keel. I don't care what they say about me. I can't read. I can't spell. Let me tell you something. You don't need to read and you don't need to spell to use what God has given you. You don't need to. When God bless you, no man could ever curse you. No man could curse you. We are here to stay. We ain't going away. There goes our Tony Nefertiti Ankara. It's here to prove to all of us. That's right. We are here to stay. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. We have some beautiful brothers and sisters that will enlighten your heart today. We have some songs that we might be able to play. We want music now before we finish. No, no music yet, man. Relax, 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 Daniel. No music. Let we let we let we go with this thing in a in a good and orderly way. Alright? Now everybody get ready. We have I'm gonna call up some people who have to come up and speak. We have our brother Raja, the mentalist, he will come up and speak. We have our sister who has lead the movement for women change in St. Vincent the Grenadines. A very small and powerful sister, Nyla John is here. She will grace this mic and let you know some of the issues. We have we have our attorney at war over there, never to the Ankara. She'll come and grace this mic and explain some of the things that we need to know. We have our agriculturist, Brother Beshai. Listen, you have a lot of people here who is going to come up and speak. We have some of our best Calypsonian here today. We have Fabulous T. We have the man himself, the man age. We have Patches Knights. And we have the mad man, Ayman himself. Bad MC! Sorry, Bob, sorry, Bob, sorry, Bob. So, first, first, Stop. I want to call up here to speak one of our brothers and our friends. He will come up and he will talk to you a little bit and he will sing after. Brother I match strong. Yes, 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 yes. We need accountability in St. Vincent. Yes. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, it is very important that we stand together. This is no time to retreat. This is no time to surrender. This is the time to be bold and move forward with courage and strength. The government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines must understand this. That we, as a people, will continue this fight in the diaspora, in England, in Canada, and here in New York. We will continue this fight. We are committed. The one thing I know, anytime you are committed, anytime you commit yourself to something, you will get results. 
and we are seeing it. We know that the Ralph Gonsalv administration time is up. They are living in fear. They have never seen this before. They have never seen it. But now they are seeing it in New York. They're seeing it in London. Yes. They're seeing it in Toronto. Yes. They're seeing it in Montreal. Yes. They're seeing it in Barbados. Yes. They're seeing it everywhere. everywhere. We will lead this charge. If the people who live there are scared to speak out, then we will take that role. Yes. We will do it. Yes. Now, for 17 years, this government has been brutalizing our people. 17 long years. This is the darkest period in our history. Never in our history have we experienced this darkness. Our people have been brutalized. Our people have been victimized. Our people have been ostracized. Our people have been abused. For what? For what, Ralph Gonsalves? For what? For you to stay in power? For you to get rich? Huh? That's the reason why? No, it's time to take our country back. We have to take our country back. This is not about I mad or Doug Howard or Fabulous D or anyone else here. This is about Simon Sunny Grenadines. I'm gonna tell Ali something. I don't know about any one of you, you know, but what is any time for me to retire? It's how am I going, you know? It's how am I going? I ain't want to stay here. When it's time for me to retire, I want to go home, so I want a better sin, man, sir. I don't want anybody when I'm walking down the street, they, they come and rob me. Huh? I don't, we don't want that. And that is what is going on in sin, man, sir. Yes. And now, of everything that is going on in sin, man, sir, what bothers me the most about what is going on in St. is the treatment of our young women and girls. That is very important. We can't have these people doing our young ladies like that. We can't have it. You know? The rape and abuse of our women. Now, the box stops there. That's where it stops. That's where the rubber meets the road. You know, we could deal with anything else. But you will respect our women and our girls. You will not treat them anyhow. You will not abuse them. Anymore. No more. That's it. It has to stop. You know? And for too long, this administration, and, and I, I am really struggling to call it an administration. I call it a criminal organization. That's what I call it on Facebook. It's not really a government, you know. It's a criminal organization. That's what the ULP is. That's what they are. A criminal organization. Masquerading as a government. You know? They are masquerading as a government, but they're not really a government. They're a criminal organization. They're involved in all sorts of things. Drugs, prostitution, everything. Human trafficking, money laundering. We don't have to look to we see it on the news. Yes. We got connection now. With me. I watched CNN some time ago. And this thing where the money fall came up. Yes, yeah. And our name was in it. Yeah. For money laundering. This is not good for a country. One black eye after the other. So we have to say to this government, time is up. Ralph and company, you can take there are two ways. We put two choices before you. Exile. Resign and go about your business. Or we will push you out. One way or the other, we're pushing you out. But the only option you have, you gotta go. We had enough of this administration. We had enough of this illegal government. We had enough of this criminal organization. And it's about time. It's about time we have to bring it to an end. So, I don't want to continue much longer because there are other people here to speak. But I just want to let them know. Rav Gonsal, resign. Leave. You will go easy or you will go hard. Okay? 
And I just want to know, this is my son, my only child. And he's here with me today. I, I, I brought him here to the protest because um, I just wanted to see that what is going on in our country. And I wanted to understand that he as a person, he had, he had to speak up too. You know, as a man, he had to speak up. So I just brought him here to the protest. All right? So thank you very much. And it was good speaking to you. Thank you. Hi, man. Hi, man. Hi, man. Listen. I might have a right to speak like that. Yes. Ralph Gonza, we go to St. Vincent for Carnival and he take away passport and keep him down there. He bust you over six months. And then he tell him, listen, here's your passport, you can go now. He mash up the man with life and just tell him, hey, look your passport, you can go now. This is what the kind of illegalness that is going on in our country. We gotta take it back, I man, we gotta That's take it back. I gotta, I gotta go. Listen. We got a sister who is going to come up here and give her rendition of what she had to do. Our sister Sharice. Sharice, your time up. Hi, good afternoon to everyone. My name is Sharice Matawal. I'm here representing the women and the children in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And I'm here to give you know, advice to our young woman that we are not a dollar bill. We are not a dollar bill. We are not a job. Our work is worth more than a dollar. And I'm here to represent especially the nannies in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And you know, as a nanny, you know, we are dealing with children and we are help raising children in America. And if we are help building America, I am here to stay, say my voice will help rebuild St. Vincent yeah. and the Grenadines. And the, the one thing I have to say, you know what? Incest is so high in St. Vincent. Incest is so high in St. Vincent. And as when I go home, I read when I coming back to some um to New York. I I don't know if anybody experiences. I just be so burdened with my friends and family stories because they're afraid to go to the authority to speak. Because you know what? No one will believe. Because guess what? The government failed. They failed us badly. And I'm here to say my voice is an echo and will be an echo to help rebuild St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Sharice, Sharice, she has a story too. She want to rebuild our nation. Our nation is like the walls and the gates of Jerusalem. It is dumb. It is up to us to rebuild it. It is up to us to rebuild it. Our, our agriculture is dumb. Fishing is dumb. And it's no better time to call an agriculturist to the mic. Brother Bishai, come on up, Bishai. Greetings in the name of the Imperial Majesty. Highly, 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 Look at the lovely people we have here from Vince. Greetings. Greetings to the people in London, the people in Toronto, the people in Montreal, the people in Barbados, the people in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and the people right here in New York City. Now, St. Vincent is, one, is in one of its darkest hours. <laughs> darkest hours. We're standing here today in an overcast weather, but there's just plenty more light yes. to the light, the moral light in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So, as I say, light up the darkness. Light it up. Let me tell you some of the darkness we have. Right now, we know our young women are like prey. There are a lot of predators over them. They have no justice. They cannot go in several offices and ask for work without somebody uncover the kitchen table and see what kind of food in the pantry. You understand? They cannot get a chance to go to a university except they pay the price in flesh. 
wow. And if they try to say anything, they want to send them out Glen by the mental home. So I am saying, like what Brother Doug said, when you interfere with a woman, you interfere with the next generation and the generation after that. All the unborn. They born with a psychological disorder. They get that from the mother. That fear still go on for generations. So you're putting a curse on two and three generations right there. That is some of the darkness. So we don't want a darkness. Woman brings forward the next seed. If you read even in the book that everybody read, whether whether what religion, they tell you the fruit of the womb is what the woman brings forward. So you're gonna abuse women. But you know what is bad in that side? Is that many of the so-called churches they silence. The silence is so deafening. We hear it all over the world. They don't say anything. They hung up with these dark leaders too much. And if you notice my oh, sign we have here food. about these churches, church and state. And you see the state have a dollar sign. Because that is what's attracting them to keep the, 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 the silence. We don't want that. When we were growing up, the churches we knew always had a high level of morality. Yes. Every one of us know that. Yes. So we don't want that. You know today in the agricultural sector, we don't have an account of what is happening since the year 2000. We don't know how much land walking, how much land idle, how much sheep we got, how much food we got, how many women work in agriculture, nothing. Because we're supposed to have a census every 10 years by law. And this dark government has refused to have a census. The money doesn't even come from them. It comes from the United Nations. And they refuse to have a census. But they want to talk all kind of different things in agriculture. How you could plan something without a record and get it done properly. You can't do that. You can't do that. Our food bill, well, it have a hardly have a mountain in America high like our food bill. Our import, we imported food by the millions of dollars, the hundreds of millions, and we export them by just the tens of millions. So we always in a deficit. We always in a deficit with food. And most of the food we import in is not quality food. I asked a gentleman two weeks ago, a gentleman high up in the ministry, I said, what is happening out Orange Hill? He said, we 70% of the land growing bush. Imagine, you know, the last government put in roads, asphalt roads, and give 435 farm families land in Orange Hill. And 70% of them gone. 70%. That's over 300 and something of them leave the land unabandoned. He said, they don't know what to plan because no market there. The people who find market, when they give the traffickers the food to come carry Trinidad, they can't get back the money from Trinidad for years, and the government not saying anything. That is some of the darkness. All of a sudden now, you wake up and you want to cuss Rowley. <laughs> but you only cuss and Rowley because you jump up in a corner and say keeping a dignified silence. But you want to make a dignified speech, you ain't say nothing. So they keep a silence all the time. But we are here to keep silent. We come here to tell him, leave the scene, guys. Leave the scene. Before it's too late, leave the scene. Say whatever little you have now. Time is not on your side. Your top done spin. You can't even catch up your sling now. Your top done spin. And you can't answer that jiggy point. Go home and rest yourself. Agree. You know. You know this week, an old man to tell you how the country gets so hard. 
68 years old. Mr. Doyle? Stole two goats from a lady, a poor lady, in the countryside. They said the goats were $240 each. But here's the bad part of it now. A recognized top butcher buy the goat from the man. The man say you are $200, the butcher pay him $160. You see how St. Vincent rough? Even the butcher couldn't even afford to pay the thief for price. <laughs> but the good magistrate, oh the good man is a good thing we have that magistrate in office right now. He, remand, he put the man in jail for five days first. And he told the police, he said, which one of the police in the investigate this case? Why you didn't bring the butcher here? Because the Apollo is worse than the thief. I know, it's my good friend too, but he should know better than doing that. The point I'm making, we're not here for any friend and company thing. So all over the world, even people who voted for this regime, coming out against the darkness now, because they're standing up for country first. And I want to ask the University of West Indies, if our people could do that, you as a leader, educational institution why are you hugging up hugging up all these dark rulers why are you doing that people will refuse in the future to send their children to you they would prefer to sacrifice and send them outside light up the darkness light up the darkness the people you see here all the dog walkers and who them who push and trolley and all them who have to go in whatever they store and whatever they place to make the two dollars oh when they come is them who send any bad barrel and them who go in by western union and moneygram last year last year the figures from the caribbean yes. bank show that these same people send home 32 cents out of every dollar whoa, whoa, whoa. so your budget don't have 32 cents deficit out every dollar. But you're talking about surplus. The only surplus we have in St. Vincent now is darkness. Light up the darkness. Gentlemen, I don't want to take up too much time because we have a lot of people to speak today. So I leave you with this message. Take the advice. Leave the scene before the scene leave you. Yeah. 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 Agriculture, yeah. Yeah. agriculture security, food security is one of the greatest risk for any country now. Right. Food security. Pump up the volume. Energetic, small, young lady to 
to bring to you. Her name is Nyla John Prince. Nyla! Well, let me say I might need two of these benches because I'm pretty small. Um, but I should say that I'm so proud of you, Vincentians. I'm not a Vincentian by birth, but I am a Vincentian because my father is a Vincentian. And I don't have to be doing this. Our nonprofit doesn't have to be doing this. But I know that the Vincentian people need our help, especially the women and children of that nation. You guys only hear half of what is really happening to our women. If I allow you guys to see my inbox on Facebook, then our number, numbers will triple because it's profound. Molestation is vast in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rape is vast in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Sexual assault is vast in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And we have had enough. We have had enough. And we will no longer sit back and tolerate this incompetence. The government is incompetent. Ralph Gonzalez is incompetent. And his son is incompetent. And Vincentian? We need to stand in solidarity. We need to unite as a people. <laughs> Charmin Bailey. We need about 300 of Charmin Bailey. We need 300 of Doug Howard. We need 300 of Jeffrey Providence. We need to start taking this seriously. We cannot give up. We must triple our numbers. We must encourage our people in St. Vincent to go out and protest. We must not be fearful. We must only fear God the Creator. Do not fear man. I have been threatened. I have been intimidated. I might be young and I might be small. But my voice is loud and my nonprofit's voice is loud. We are not giving up. We will continue this protest. We must rally our people. Camelo Gonzalez must resign. He has exploited a young woman. He has not come out to speak on the matter. I am not saying let me correct myself. I am not saying what Yogi did was correct. She should have not been in a relationship with a married man. Okay, so some are saying she did not know. Okay. 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 Some are saying he promised to marry her. She did not know. So, what I'm saying is, Camelo must come and speak. We do not want Ralph Gonzalez to speak for him. We want Camelo to speak and tell the nation. Let me tell you something. In life, <laughs> in life, sometimes we make mistakes. We're not perfect. I am not a perfect human being and I have made some mistakes in my life but if you have made a mistake and you decide to come and speak the truth and ask for forgiveness like Colin Graham did Colin Graham is my MC of the nonprofit for several years I was unaware what was happening when I came aware I was I came aware of the situation just like everybody else did on social media and I spoke to him and I told him what he did was wrong he asked me Nyla what should I do I said you will get on national radio the next morning and you will speak the truth if you do not speak the truth 
I will no longer support you and you will no longer be a part of LOVN SVG. We are not perfect, but we must speak the truth. And the administration presently is not speaking the truth. They are victimizing, they are intimidating, they are threatening the people. But we're not afraid of them. We are not afraid of them. That's right. And we are not giving up. Women's rights in St. Vincent is at the bottom of their list. Rights of our children are at the bottom of their list. I do not care which administration is in power. We must ask for accountability. If this government is removed and the next government goes there, we will still be here. And I will still be here. And my non-profit will still be here. We are not giving up. We have had enough. No one should use their office. No one should use their office for sexual gratification. If you want sex, pay a prostitute if your wife is not giving it to you. Do not exploit our women. Why when I go to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, I have to have several phone calls from young women. Nyla, can you please accompany me to the Prime Minister's office? Why? That is shameful. Is it because they're scared? He's a rapist. Oh, it's scared. Yes. yes. They are scared to go there. Yes. Sir James has never, I have never heard Sir James doing that. Why are we allowing this to continue, my Vincentian people? Why are we allowing for men in power to exploit our women and young girls? Why? We have had enough. And it stops now. Let us rally our people. Let us rally our people in the diaspora. Let us rally our people in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Tell your friends, tell your family members that we will no longer sit back and allow for this exploitation of our women. My Vincentian people, I'm proud of you today. We love you, we love you. I am very proud of you today. And we have to let the world know what is happening in this beautiful nation that my father took me to when I was five years old. The island is lush. The rivers are beautiful. The oceans and the Grenadines are spectacular. Let us make St. Vincent what it's supposed to be. A nation of progress. A nation. Put it back to work. That's correct. Let our people go back to work. Let us work. Let me tell you something. We need to have a strategy. And that strategy is unity. That strategy is we use our contacts. That strategy is we use our money. That strategy is we use our time. And we use our connections to make it possible. We need to call more on the young people. I'm a young woman. And we need young people to be at the forefront. The young people are the future of that nation. The women are the mothers of that nation. And the women are the ones that bring children into this world. You must not rip them. Don't rip them. Don't rip them. Don't them. Yes, and let us not rape them. Abuse them. And let us not abuse them. And to the women. Let me speak to the women because I keep saying, don't sell yourself short. Have self-respect. Let men respect you. When you respect yourself, you gain respect. 
Anyways, I can go on and on, but I know that there's other speakers. Freeze, 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 freeze. And we love you, Tennis! I promise I don't live in New York. I live in Maryland. I promise to come back. And I encourage you guys not to give up. The nonprofit is behind you 100%. We have started a GoFundMe for Yogi Farrell. And we're asking everybody to go to GoFundMe, type in Yogi Farrell. And please, even if it's $5, please donate. It is the only way that we can help her. She needs our help. She's a poor woman. She comes from poverty. Donate! 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 It is very important. Um, yes, Yogi is doing fine. She is wanting to get back into her modeling. She's a very attractive young lady. Beautiful young princess! And we are trying to encourage her. Um, she's a fighter. And she has stated to me that one day she will come out and protest with us. But we need to understand that a lot of healing needs to happen. And there are certain things that I cannot disclose here because of the nature of the case. So keep supporting her, keep supporting the women of the nation the children of the nation. I left St. Vincent about 19 years ago. And now I go back, it's not the same nation. And that is really sad. But we can't give up. Our stories are profound and rape of our children is profound. When we have children ending up at the Milton Cato, 11 years old, pregnant, and no one is being arrested. Our laws need to change, our laws need to be enforced. We cannot have a Domestic Violence Act that was amended in 2015, and it is not enforced. We need enforcement of legislation. Legislation cannot sit without Enforcement, it cannot be effective without enforcement. We need change now. We don't need change tomorrow. The change must happen now. And on that note, I have to go because I know that there's other speakers. But I applaud each and every one of you for being here in this rain. Maybe we could have a wet fit. Yes, yes, All right. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Naila! Naila! Listen something. That is a powerful system. Yes. Listen. Yes. When we start the dynamite is a little, little thing, but it blows on some big, big rocks. Yes. And an axe is a small axe, but it cut down a big, big tree. Naila going to help cut them down. We'll cut them down. She said you gotta stop the abuse of our children. Rape of our children. 11 years old, giving birth and no accountability. It must stop. It must stop. It must stop. And we are the guardians who are gonna make that happen. We are gonna make it happen. Listen something. Listen something. We got a brother gonna come to address us, eh? Knowledge, knowledge and power. We need knowledge. We need to know your history so you can know your destiny. Brother Roger Mendes! Greetings, um, pleasant good evening to everyone. Um, I'm, 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 it's raining, but we're here. I want the rain to wet me. Because this is still as a blessing. This night, you know, there's nothing wrong with the rain. I'm gonna take off my hat. And I'm gonna tell you why no, I'm not even worried about the cold right now. We are attracting the rain, believe it or not, because we are here in one mind. 
And this is why we are, we are affecting the weather, believe it or not. So, there's a saying, if you don't know where you come from, you're going to never get where, where you're going. That's true. So let me give you a little bit of history. You know, I, I may be young, but um, I've been digging deep. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, you read me, was always a refuge. You know, when all the other Caribbean islands was colonized. We were the last in the Western Hemisphere to be colonized by Europeans. So that's something to be very proud of. Yep. It's a place where slaves used to run from St. Lucia. They would run from different countries because they wanted to seek refuge in St. Vincent. So how could we allow the place of refuge, you understand, to become a, a, a home of victimization? So the time is now. This is our time. And this is a, is a, is a righteous movement that's happening here. So we are on the, 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 the right side. Um, I don't mind the rain. So I'm here <laughs> appealing to the younger people. I mean, it's good. You guys um, are doing a wonderful job being, being assembling here. You know, I'm, I'm the younger people because they are the future. Like the women are the future. Without the women, there are no future. So we can't allow this to happen on our watch. And you don't want to be 10 years into the future or 20 years and say, you know what, I had the opportunity to change this government and I didn't do anything because your grandchildren or your great-grandchildren, they're going to ask questions. I'm, I'm going to make it brief. You know, I'm happy to see us here together as a family. You know, I don't feel any difference. Like, you know, I, I feel like a family. We, we, we might not be a thousand here, but it's going to grow. It's gonna grow, so continue. Oh, 10,000 people there, what are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> it's gonna grow. Take to your social media because everyone is not gonna be able to come out here today. People have jobs and, and a lot of us are here hustling. So we can't beat up on anyone for really not showing up. So who could make it? Thank you guys for coming out. I'm here. You understand, but we're gonna keep the fire burning. My stronghold might be on social media because I have a lot of people following me. So I am not going to be silenced. They ended up blocking my Facebook pages and they're sending me messages, but That's that okay. cannot stop me. I have, I have that could not stop me. <laughs> we would always find a way. So we are here now and um, I'm gonna encourage you guys, continue to fight. We are not going to give up, not at our watch. United we stand people. One love, I love you all. Power to the people. Yeah. That is the man who gonna help educate All right, give us a, our people. Give us a little bit of music in the room. We ring. need an education revolution. Yeah. Where we got Again? where we got in St. Vincent is an education excuse. It's an excuse. We need to educate the minds of the children. We need to know where you come from. So you can know your direction where you're going to. If you don't know where you come from, God knows you know you don't know where you're gonna go to. Hit the music, DJ, hit the music for a little bit. Yep. Just now, she come up. Yeah, listen.
We need accountability. We need accountability. St. Vincent and Grenadines, you set up all kind of fake company. Fake! And when we ask for accountability, we say, go up in some hole. Come in, gas, come in, gas. Listen. <laughs> Ralph! Ralph! Your day is a number! Yes, I'm telling you, your day is a number! Leave peacefully! Leave peacefully! I love the rain. It ain't running with. I want to bring to you my attorney at war! An attorney at war! You see, when you live in this place, you need an attorney. Yo, yo. And I'm telling you, I have a young lady. She is so close to my heart, I think she is in my heart. <laughs> she is not from St. Vincent, but she got St. Vincent at heart. Because she got me at heart. And I'm St. Vincent! Yes. 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 Hello. 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 Hello, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so proud of everyone here. My heart is so full. Douglas Howard, I love him. I love everyone here today, and I want you to just repeat after me. Resistance is power. Resistance is power. Resistance is power. Resistance is power. Women's rights are human rights. Women's rights are human rights. for fighting. We all must fight for women and children and our families. And as um, Douglas Howard said, I'm not from St. Vincent, but I am everyone from St. Vincent. We are all, we are all the women of St. Vincent. And we, and we will continue to come out to protect them and to protect them against abuse. And just to tell you my name, my name is Nefertiti Ankara. I'm an attorney with the Community Justice Unit at the Legal Aid Society. I work in, uh, in various organizations here in Brooklyn. And I just wanna say, under this administration here in this country, a lot of rights are being rolled back against people of color, black and brown people. If anyone, I'm in the Community Justice Unit, if anyone here, I'm gonna be here for a while. If you have any legal issue, whether it's housing, it's immigration, whatever it is, just see me afterward, I'll give you my information. I'm normally at various organizations around Brooklyn. Can you go to so, St. Vincent with us? <laughs> <laughs> I might you. be able to. <laughs> and I just wanna say that Nelson Mandela once said that in the end, we must remember that no amount of rules or their enforcement will ever enforce people who struggle with justice on their side. And when you're fighting against abuse of women, we're struggling with justice on our side. Yes, when you're sir, fighting sir. against corruption, you're struggling with justice on our side. Yes. So I just want to end by saying more power to you. Resistance is power and no movement in the history of mankind has ever been successful without resistance. Without people coming out like you with love in your heart, with love in my heart, and realizing that we are all the women of St. Vincent who are being abused. And we are your again. We are your again. Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Never yeah. Don't worry. She is an attorney at war. She fighting for you. She fighting a just fight. She fighting a fair fight. I love her. I love her. I love her like my. Never Titi. Thank you for coming out in this weather. Gregory, pump it up a little. Listen, we got this, and we got this have to work. It have to work for all of us. All of we have to be what we are. Some of we are afraid. The rain could come, but it can't stop us. In St. Vincent, they protesting today. In Canada, they protest today. In Trinidad, they protest today. In England, they bust it up today. And we here in Brooklyn, New York, at the crossroads.
them. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. For 14 years they boost and run. But all the Kiwi was big in a bag. And they get to one house. They are the best. I give a fuck. My fucking friends don't know how to get rid of them. If you don't, you will go down like Saddam Hussein. You might be in a shithole. You will go down like Madame Labarek. Even if you're in a stretcher, we will take you to court. And we want one thing from you. A accountability. I want to bring up a brother to say something to us here today. Listen. All of we have a story. All of we have something to say. Because all of we hands got to go to the tail to build back St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Brother Kevin, come on up. All right. Good afternoon, Vincent. First off, I implore everyone for being here. And we have taken a brave stance today, actually. About 14 years ago, um, when I formed the Vincent Student Association here in New York City, I brought a contingent of students to um, Ralph Gonzalez's office. At that time, I gave him the benefit of the doubt that he probably would be one that would, um, you know, lead the country into a whole new direction. But what we're seeing today is nothing but division. And there's, there's, when, 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 when we look back in our times and our grandparents' time, there are times when you can just easily walk into a place, into a home, and ask for this, ask for that. And every sector in St. Vincent and the Grenadines right now is in jeopardy. Every facet of St. Vincent and the Grenadines is doomed. Yes. And Ralph Gonzalez has done nothing but enrich, enrich him and his friends and his immediate family. And there's a lot of us here in New York City that sit on the wayside and watch this type of corruption happen and still be dogmatic about this situation. It is time, Vincentian, that we stand up in solidarity and claim back what is rightfully ours. St. Vincent does not belong to Ralph Gonzalez. It does not belong to Camelo. It does not belong to Julius Francis and the likes. St. Vincent and the Grenadines belong to the future generation of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And I am sending a message clear to every young man, young man in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You must stand up in solidarity of young women. We cannot allow Ralph Gonzalez to exploit the office of the nation as he has done and still continue. We cannot defend this type of atrocity because it is a darkness that is permeating our country. Today, I come here before you and I ask you and I plead with you that we must stand in one accord. I get a lot of black backlash on Facebook, but let me tell you something. I ain't giving up on nothing. Because if I fall for anything, I can't stand for something. And we must come together as a nation of people. There's a reason why we are in this country right now. It's because the country see the need for us to be here so that they can continue their economic development. We also need to carry that same weapon of increase into our country. We cannot come out here and keep sending remittances home and call that economic development. You can't have houses home and call that economic development. Economic development is when a country moves forward, when every citizen of that country has something at his or her table to eat, has something that their children can benefit from. This is what we call economic development. Ralph Gonzalez right now has millions of dollars in offshore bank. We, our name should not be in the White House our name should not be there as far as money laundering. And you come in to tell the Vincentian people, oh, you know what? I am Minister of Finance. I don't know, even know this is what's happening. If you are Minister of Finance, you would know everything that happens in St. Vincent and the Grandies, whether it's imported or exported. Who you think you're fooling? Okay? So what, I, what I'm asking of today, 
There's some of us who have. Oh, let me let me just say this. Rav Gonsav, party is not Labour Party. And this is what is sickening. When you allow someone to come in, manipulate, take over, take charge, okay, and call it unity, when there is nothing but division in St. Vincent and Grenadines, you go to a neighbor right now in St. Vincent and Grenadines and I almost guarantee you that he or she is not speaking to the next person there because of party affiliation. And it's sad that we have to stand up here it is said that we have to stand up here, but there's a reason why we're standing. Yeah. We're standing because we believe in our nation, we believe in our people, we recognize what is happening there, yeah. and we need to continue this movement. Yeah. Because this movement can only move forward, yeah. it cannot go backward. Right. I would never imagine in my 18 years in this country that I would stand here on a bench in New York City. And mind you, this country has given us enough freedom for us to be able to exercise the moment here to send a message clear back to wherever it is and so and so we must continue okay to show support for this government sorry sorry for this country in the bed for a better way so that we can continue to strive and continue to help our brothers and sisters who are a detriment as a result of people who manipulate them there is a sex culture that is going on in St. Vincent and Grenadines. Young women are being used. Their legs are open against their own will because of economic turmoil. And this is sickening. You cannot have 11 year old and having that child being raped. And we look at that as an excuse. Where is the accountability? We cannot have Yogi who came forward against someone who is leading in a leadership role. And you didn't give her due process to explain her position. You didn't allow the justice system to take its, its, its place to make a decision on that. Because why? You control everything. And so your circle, your circle is now a rectangle. That rectangle is not gonna come a square. It's gonna come a triangle. It's gonna actually diminish. Before you know it, Vincent, we will be back to square one and we will have our country revamp. We will bring back those institutions that is relevant the institutions that are pertinent to our nation building. We cannot have the best fertile soil in St. Vincent Grenadines and yet our ag agriculture, our agriculture is almost extinct. Where is the days when we used to have bananas, when we used to have plantains and potatoes? Now you have to go to Trinidad and export those same things and we have to be here sending barriers home and you call that economic development. I urge every single one of you, stop sending barrels until the essential stand up and realize that this is important. Stop sending money when they still support a government. Don't do it. We talk about, we talk about, yes, there's a facility in Georgetown. Yes, it is. Health care is not a privilege. It's a right. And so that's a step in the right direction. But what is the use? What is the use of economic development? If we cannot educate our young women and men in these professional jobs so that they can retain the money that is now being repatriated by professionals coming in and having these jobs and take those monies out. We cannot have that. We cannot have Camelo and his wife exploit the women of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We cannot have Ralph Gonzalez continue for every woman that walk up into his office is almost being asked, I cannot have sex. We cannot have that. We cannot have our White House for exploited. We demand change, and change has to happen right now. So yeah. Vincentians in this diaspora, and across the diaspora, I urge every single one of us, continue this movement. Sometimes it can be frustrating, because let me tell you something. A lot of us in that Vincentians are very hard-headed. And when you are attached to party loyalty, when you are indoctrinated with party loyalty, you cannot see past that. So we have to change the dynamics so that our young generation do not inherit that same type of behavior that does not work in modern day society. I ask again, every single one of you, let us continue this movement because to, <clears throat> united, united we stand and together we what? We fall. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. And guess what? You're gonna hear more about me. I want to share one story. I'm Kevin Biden from Stubbs and Bridge. Yes. I'm gonna share one story. A young lady inboxed me. She ain't away from a canopy, not even Benjamin Moore. And she said something to me in the lines like, you know, you're full of this, you're full of that. 
and you fake. And I was, I kind of, I kind of stepped over the mountain and said, the only thing fake is the wig on your head. But I gotta hold myself back for a second because people can put you and and make you go off track. You have to stay the course. This is a serious time in our country. If you ask me, every single, every single person in Simi Cigarette should be millionaires today. You can count at least 120,000 millionaires right here in Brooklyn. Our soil is fertile and our country is rich. But we cannot have people that is going to exploit it, continue to exploit it, and continue to tell us that we cannot speak. You have a voice beyond just being voiceless. And today that voice must echo every part of the globe and let people know what we stand for. This is part of the movement. And I ask every single one of you, as I said before, let us continue this change for the betterment and in the right direction. Because St. Vincent Grenadines, we will come back. I will come back strong. By that time, we will be rocking. Thank you. Kevin Bino, yes, sir. Listen, no, keep it. this movement is ain't going, going nowhere. No I'm telling you, Ralph Gunsell, I'm telling you to leave. I want to tell all you something and tell your friends. We taking this protest here to Washington D.C. Listen, listen, we're taking this protest to Washington, D.C. Yes, sir. There's a march coming up against gun violence. We are going to jump on it as a piggyback, and we taking this to Washington, D.C. And we taking it to our senators and our congressmen. And our congressmen, we taking it to them. If they don't listen to me, we will take Come here. You can't come back at him. Turn the back at him. But I don't want to say one more thing. All right, guys. One more movement. We're going to take it further than this. Vince Day coming up. And guess what? We're going to take over Vince Day. And we're going to take this over. And we're going to we, we, we're gonna go there in strength. So we're going to get t shirts. We're going to have whatever we have to do. And we're going to make that movement. And we're going to declare Vince Day as the day of redemption for the same as ever That's it. That's right, that's right. Yeah, man.
then lick out one of she eyes. Yeah. And then they call she one eye devil. Yeah. Well, hey now, the, the one eye devil is coming back because you know who the devil because you're the hell rider. Charming belly, come on up. Yes, 
know yes. that you are our employees and if you're not doing your job, you will be fired. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen yes. of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, yes. because vindictiveness and because spitefulness reign in St. Vincent, because our people are so intimidated, they can't even go out in St. Vincent. We who are out here and have the liberty and the freedom to speak for them must not be afraid. Don't you hold them come up in your night in your inbox neither.
Set the damn girl free. Yeah. I'm planning to do that for this season coming up. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, again, I do appreciate the fact that you guys are on the right side of history. There's some people here, I've been hearing about them on the Facebook and I'm seeing them in person. Yes. The young lady there, Myla. I've been hearing about her. Um, mentalist. I know since he was a little boy and I'm so glad to see all you other folks. I know quite a number of people here. I want to say, I ain't going to be wrong, I want to say specifically that we must not forget the role that Miranda Peck would play. She started this ball rolling. What you see happening in Barbados yesterday? Pet initiated that. It take a lot of guts or belly to come forward in a setting like in Crown Heights, the yeah. Friends of Crown Heights. When Pet got up and said, what we have done, serve, attempt to do to her. We must give credit. And like Nyla said, she have a lot of information about people who are afraid to make public the kind of experiences they have had with Ralph Gonzalez and other politicians. But Ralph is the chief culprit. Yes. It's not too weird. I know stories too. I know stories. I loan a young lady my phone a time. She said, let her she phone, my phone. She wanted to say something to somebody. On the other hand, what Ralph Gonzalez? Me patches nights. Me patches nights. I sign a check for a young lady who Ralph Gonzalez give for her Christmas. $1,500. Ralph Everett Gonzalez. And she told me all the stories. She got money from the man. She went to Canada with the 10000 She got small business. I know. I know. Gonzalez know I know. Because I just talk it all. Because I tell him like they want to soon lose that. Sumina, I call it Michelle Andrews for witness. I call in Margaret Parsons to witness because it's them who say what Ralph did to them. And I firmly and honestly believe the stories of Miss Parsons and Miss Michelle Andrews. You know, it's funny. Ralph Gonsal sued two gentlemen who was on the radio and they made a statement that they extracted from a newspaper in Trinidad, uh, the bomb. He put them in court because they repeated what was in an issue of the bomb newspaper and warned them, charge them for defamation and win. You know Miss Michelle Andrews is a member of the constabulary of St. Vincent the Grenadines up to today. Yes. If a woman is employed by you and she claim you rape her, would you still have any employee? No. Ralph Gonsalves is the Minister of National Security. He's the Minister of Legal Affairs. How come he has to Miss Michelle Andrews, she's still working. I hate to be calling up the young lady name so, but I give her some credit too for coming forward. This is disgusting, atrocious, and we must not support it. It's beyond politics. Because as, as um, Charmin said, and as Doug said, and a number of you, Nyla said it too, it's not just about political party. It's about what is decent, moral, ethical, upright, and good. We all fail, as the young lady said too. None of us ain't perfect. None of us ain't perfect. But when we see things like what is happening to the Vincentian women and children, and generally speaking, for instance, let me, let me wrap up. Ralph Gonsalves is the so-called Prime Minister of SVG. His son Camilo is the Minister of Finance. His wife is in charge of the FSA, the Financial Services Authority. His wife controls the biggest business places in the AIA. Yes. Yeah. All the Julian Francis's cousin <laughs> occupy one of the most important ministries. Nobody ever voted for Julian Francis. Eloise, <laughs> brother, have a big job in St. Vincent. Storm Gunsam is the man I understand is handling all of the business transaction in terms of importing it on the AIA. Now why is this so? You have hundreds and hundreds of young people who graduate regularly from the community college. Far more intelligent, far more bright, far more qualified. Can't get a job. They have to go up in gun serve office for him to, to have his way with them. And then when they're done, they pass in these little notes between themselves, he and your cousin, and say this one cut good. Bulls, we must not support that. As history will condemn us. They can't do me nothing. Gun serve came twice. 
This is being recorded. Hug me up. Tell me how stupid I am. Oh. Why I don't come and join him? There's a rumor around the table. I said to myself, will you give me a car? Don't have nothing to do with the future, my kids and my grandkids. Don't go look nice on my resume. Will you give me a piece of land? You will give me some money to put on the back? I said, no, I don't want to be a part of that. I, Patrick White, cannot be bribed. You can't bribe me and you can't get me on your side because it's not about material things. I like to consider myself as a black conscious man. I know the atrocities that we, coming through the Middle Passage, had experienced and still continue right here in the Americas and all across the planet. You know what's significant to me? Anyway, people who look like us are, whether they're the minority or the majority, they still are on the lowest ring of the social, political, and economic ladder. Yeah. Those of us who know that must yeah. all of the conscious of that fact. And we must continue to work in the best interest of our people. Yeah. Gonzalez, you, Camilo, Julian, all of you, you all got to go. Time to free up St. Vincent. Folks, have a wonderful day. Patrick Knight! Patrick Knight! One of our foremost Calypsonians. Our social activists. The man who I admire so much, I wanted to be like him. See, that's why I'm here today. I always love so the spirit Patches of Patches Knight. Um, yes? I want to bring a lady to you to say a few words to you. I want you to listen carefully. Listen carefully. Where's she? Over there. Come on, Miss John. Good afternoon, my brothers and my sisters. I am so proud to see the brave Vincentians here today. I used to think that Vincentians are coward people. My husband is a Vincentian, but I am not a Vincentian. I'm an African. But I met my husband and I got married to him and went to St. Vincent. So I'm an African-Canadian Vincentian. of you all to come out here today. I was proud of your daughter too. I'm proud of her. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I told my daughter, as long as she's doing the right thing, do not be afraid of anyone. And I will support her. If she was doing something wrong, we would not support her. But if she's doing something right, and she's doing it for the people of St. Vincent and the women all over the world and the children who are abused sexually and mentally with the men. We need the men, of course, because some men are abused by their women. But mostly men are abusing and exploiting the women. As somebody said, the women should stop opening up their legs to the men. Have self-respect. Let them respect you before you go and sleep with them, and they will respect you. So when sanctions and women and children and men all over the world, I'm not just speaking for when sanctions, I'm speaking for the women and children and men all over the world today. Please stand up together and help each other. Alone, you cannot do anything. A, fo a house needs a foundation. Yes. So if you have a foundation, you will go ahead. Yes. But if you don't have a foundation, yes. the house will collapse. Yes. So yes. we need to stand up together. Yes. And we yes. have to tell Ralph that yes. we are yes. here and we are not afraid. Yes. Yes. If you do the right thing, yes. we will support you. Yes. And if you don't do the yes. right thing, we are yes. not going to support you. Yes. Yes. So today I'm here. It's, this is not about politics. No, it's not. I do not support if you're a politician. 
whether you're my husband, my brother, or my sister, and you're doing something wrong, I would not support you. I would not support you. I'll put you down. I'll pull you down. My brother is a politician, and I would I supported my brother, and I told him if you do anything wrong, I would never support you. So this is what we should do. This is not about politics. This is about our rights, yes. about women's rights, and about children who have been exploited yes. and sexually molested. Yes. And they have children, and men are not looking after the children. But I don't even blame sometimes the men. Because women, one child is a mistake, a second one, and a third one, and the fourth one. We women should respect ourselves and do not do that. Anyways, I'm not going to speak too much. Because I know there's a lot of people who have to speak today. Hold on together, my sisters and my brothers. I am very proud today, and thank you very much. Thank you. We love you. We love you, Yeah. Yeah. Listen. That's a lady from the heart of Africa speaking to you. It, it's a woman right. It's a woman right to speak. It's a woman right to say no. It's not a woman right for you to go and rape her and abuse her. Gregory. Yeah, we're gonna have some. We're gonna have a couple of music. We're gonna have a couple of people gonna sing. Fabulous gonna sing a few songs and Bob MC. We're gonna get a little entertainment. Yep, we're gonna do this right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
make you up your mind. Rise up, people. Rise up now. Raise your voice. Shout out loud. Why you? You must fight up for Yogi. Yeah, she didn't deserve it. Yeah. Yeah, justice for Yogi. I tell you. Yeah. 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 Listen. We want justice for Yogi. But we want justice for everybody who's been abused and sent Vincent the Grenadines. We want justice for Mega Biggs. We want justice for all of them. We're taking our country back. We're taking it back. Listen, I want to acknowledge everybody here that knowledge. But I want to acknowledge some ladies special. They take a trip from Philadelphia to come here to be with we. Where they are. Come on over here, my sisters. Come on over here. The drive from Philadelphia. Come up, come up, come up. Come on up. Let me show you. Let me show you. They come from Philadelphia. Drive up here. Leave their work. And come here to be with us today. They have been section who your cause what fighting for. They gotta leave now. Because they gotta go back to work. If they could leave Philadelphia and come, my sisters, I am proud. I am proud. I am proud of you. I wish, I know you gotta go. I know you gotta go. I wish you safe passage in the way. Take your time. And I will contact you and let you know where we do it. Thank you, thank you. I say they gotta leave now so that we can get a safe and safe journey. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for coming. I thank you for coming. I know. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Yes. They came from Philadelphia to come here to let the voices be heard. All the wickedness you're doing in the land of our board. It gotta stop, bro. Ralph Gunter. Ralph Gunter. I am telling you. And leave if you don't leave peacefully trust me we will get you out i want to bring a brother up here knowledgeable one of st benson the grenadines foremost reggae artist the minister patrick where you at patrick where you at patrick junior he's somewhere around here patrick. Wait there, wait there. Okay. We're going to move right along. We move right along. We catch a man every ball. I want to bring up another brother who is one of our young, vibrant agriculturists, Brother Mikey Brock. Come on up, Mikey. He has done so much for St. Vincent. Oh, you know, you got a mango tree. And you got two kind of mango grafted. This is the man who used to do it in the garden. He's the foremost agriculturist like Beshai, Brother Mikey Brown. Well, brothers and sisters. Yeah. And all who on internet and here we are in New York City. Can see anywhere today. We are most foremost on behalf of women in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And the only way women can walk with some decency and hold their head high. We got to make sure the soil in which they're growing is removed from all pestilence. And the pestilence in St. Vincent and the Grenadines right now, Rob Gonsal, 
Yeah, the pestilence and sin is many grenadines. So I want to ask my brothers and sisters, how much money should go to one family house for them to put a plate of food on their table? A good plate of food. Wife, big money. Your wife, big money. Your son, big money. Your daughter, in big money. Everybody, big money. How much plate? And when you look around, my people can't even put a plate of food on their table. Well, if that's their advantage, I don't know what that be. Never they say must stop and send me to the Grenadines. When you look at my brothers and sisters, to get a scholarship, you have to go and sell your body. Yes. Eh? To get a job or a scholarship. You, eh? When you go overseas and you come back, you can't give a whole a proper job. Eh? You, you, you tell me something. When you go overseas now, you say you go 20 years of age. You spend four years of study and you come back. Your productive years start from at least 25 years of age. When you put, you spend your productive years of age and a welfare check, rough welfare check, poor relief check. When you come out for that for 35, tell me where's your productive years gone? Yeah. Who, uh, who has one of you? And here, this boy so smart. This boy mash up the country NIS program. And when he Looking out to say, well, boy, when we finish at least 60, well, 55 years ago, then you five more years. So you say, 60 million get money, you know, and we could start a little shop, a little something. The boy put it out of your reach, and the fact and the fact of the matter, a healthcare system, we can't even guarantee you till you, till you reach at least 62. Because look, you take a look at St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and look the oven, and see what there is in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I pay a lot of people. So, when, so that is what that is the game plan. When you got, when you done, when you don't repopulate St. Vincent and the Grenadines, it's not going to look like me and you. It ain't going to look like people like me and you. Because you're going to bring them in. All the big jobs in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Look at the airport. Yeah, you're talking about the education revolution. But you cannot send nobody overseas to study to control, the, to control the airport. You have to bring somebody from Jamaica and Barbados. I'm not saying nobody can eat the food. But you're talking about the education revolution. Make sure it gets to the developmental need of the people and the country at last. Give me the education revolution so that you could aid in the development of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You want a psychiatrist, you have to bring somebody from Trinidad or somewhere for two days a month. And you're trying to be as money to send with people to study. That's kind of what? Eh? Where's the priorities for our eh? eh? Look around, you think you're Dr. Carlis today in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? So much crazy people that walk up, they walk up things down. Mm -hmm. Dr. Carlis will not take care of all of them people there. Mm -hmm. Look around St. Vincent and the Grenadines. When we had Dr. Cindy Godman, bro, you didn't have to go back to Bali for St. Yatuba to fix your eye. Dr. Cindy Godman used to take care of that. Mm. You have any bold problem, Dr. Cyrus used to take care of that. No, you're talking about the education revolution. And your hospital look like a shit house. Oh. Come on, Ralph. You have to do better than that. That is that leadership. Hmm? That is that leadership. Decadence. And, and don't you see your preachers out there? You preachers out there? You are the worst. I call all the mad and the pigs. Because that's what they do with our people. You're pimping them. Before they cannot stand up and talk to the rape it's in this many better deeds. Where come in our church for? Yeah, where come in there for? For father to fleece me too? I have the money to give all you. Because for years, my people been going to church. But when you look around here, even in America here, in St. Louis and the Grenadines, how come you cannot give the members some money to open a little business? Eh? That is economic development of your people. If you ain't developing the people, then we don't have a people. Take the collection money and help more people to open business. And that's the you. Mm -hmm. and stop the fools of the people and check people but Ralph, my main goal for you right now you and your son is coming out we have enough for you no more sex exploitation of my brothers and sisters mm -hmm. no more it has to stop have a good night my brethren sister brother Mikey Brown been fighting for our freedom help us in our development Ralph Gonsav you gotta go. You gotta go. We're telling you, hey, from the crossroads of St. Vincent 
and the largest Vincentian village on the face of the earth, Brooklyn, New York, Utica, and Eastern Parkway, where more Vincentian take that subway than anywhere else in the world. You gotta go. Your time is up. Don't let we put you on borrowed time. Your time is up. Bow out now. Bow out nice. I'm telling you, you gotta go. Vincentian at home is protesting. Vincentian in England is protesting. Vincentian in Canada is protesting. Vincentian in Trinidad and Tobago is protesting. Vincentian in Barbados is protesting. Ralph, something wrong. All of them can't be wrong. Look at yourself. If all finger pointed at you, something wrong. Take your time and bow out and go. No, now you're okay, trying to force baby duck down with you. And your baby duck start to be like you. Abusing our women and our children. Just like you. You're an abuser. And listen. You know, just tell me. I can't come send me. I can't come send me. They said Douglas Howard can't come send Vincent. He They terrorized my brothers and Howard Marine. They say you can't come. You can't come, you can't come. He got the minions and them. They say, Doug, we gonna pay your passage. I said, boy, I don't make a little change. I could pay my own passage. I could pay my own passage to go home. I say, not even my wife make my Reservation. I make my own reservation when I travel. I do my own itinerary. So, a friend of mine died. My good friend Doggy, the freighter's daughter in law, died. I say, Boy, my friend Doggy is messed up for a little bit. I say, I tell his wife, I say, I've go, I got to come to support him. So, I go home for three days. They say, Boy, he's easing and he's back home. My father gets sick. I say, let me go home, see my daddy in the hospital. First time my dad ever went in the hospital that I know of. I say, let me go see my father. I stay a week. They say, boy, he slept we again. No, every time I go home, everybody know they are nice radio. Everybody know that. My father died about a month after. So I go home for the funeral. I go home on Saturday. I come back this Sunday. They say he slip out again. Same year, 2015. You know why I slip out again? Because I tell them I'm coming back for election. No, not a one. They say, I say, I'm going to come back for election. So I slip out. Two weeks I slip. Two weeks I go back in. And they all over St. Vincent. Ask Passage Knights. We have Passage Knights. And all kind of trucks up and down St. Vincent. Stand up in front of police barracks. Telling them, Ralph, you gotta go. Policeman. Let me tell you how wicked and evil the police force is. Policeman doing me so. I'm gonna shoot you. I said, boy, I was born to die. Anytime, any ready. Hey, an opportunity, the only thing stopping me and you. Come on, anytime you're ready. Take your phone call, I'll bite your throat out. Call him so. He tell him me, I'm going to shoot you. And he run, boy. The rest of them, who supporting? What we doing? They're doing so. You know the police and them afraid to show you the thumbs up that you're saying something right. That's how scared the police forces. So what you think happened to the rest of the people and the country who they are swear to protect? I stay in St. Vincent all of the election. Hear the say? He cut the jets because he lose a bet. Me bet. Me bet. I cut my jets in honor of my dad. That's why I cut my jets off in honor of my father who had passed away a month before. So I ain't worried about Ralph Gonsav. I went down to the islands 
My mom passed away last year, late last year. So I went down to the funeral. But I got a two aunts in Union Island. One is 97 and a half, she said. She always put the half in. She said 97 and a half. And the other one is 94. They say, boy, every time you come, yeah, you go come see where you go come see where you come. If I die, don't come to my funeral. So I say, you know what, boy? While they're alive, let me go spend a little time with them. I leave from that flight to Grenada, get a cheap flight up. They say, boy, you slip away again. Ralph, I ain't going nowhere. I am here to stay. St. Vincent's why born. And let me tell you something. I go St. Vincent on my terms. Now Ralph terms. Ralph, you will leave office. And I will be here. And I gonna tell you something, Ralph. When you leave office, when we take them, when we take them, it's jail for you. Yeah. I got a lady, want to say a few words to you. I own her. I know her. I know her. I know her. Say a few words. Be careful, lady. Uh, good afternoon. It's still afternoon time. I must say, I love my people. But we have to be very careful because the government uses our weak points. You know we have a lot, but I'm not going to dwell on it. You get emotional when you're supposed to be thinking about strategies to beat the plague. Ralph, 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 leave that out. Think about how you can incite those people back home to do the right thing. We are up here, we are doing our thing. So it is best for me to start thinking instead of being emotional. Leave those child's play alone, you pass that stage. Now it's time where we have to think. I put something on Facebook, I told someone, said Vincent need certain things. If I read NDP manifesto, I said no. I was born in St. Vincent, grew up in Canyon Park where they had the agricultural station. So I saw life at a certain way. Now, the bottom line is, we have to think about agriculture. Every time you're running by yams, potatoes, everything from the Chinese. Why we can't have a place where we buy Vincent Chen yams, Vincent Chen potatoes, Vincent Chen blackfish, you name it. So we have to think about having our own food to eat. One other thing, you know the people eating all the GMO imported crap. And some of us spoil the people at home. They rely on the barrels and money grams. Listen, start sending some books to the children to read. Get back to the basics, back to the basics. Back to the lands, back to start thinking about the people instead of casting judgment. More complimenting instead of critiquing. Okay, if we start changing, and I have my big sign in here, change our paradigm. St. Vincent is going to be back to the state it used to be, when people were nicer. So part of who is in power, we are formed. And he grew up there too, so he know your mentality, so he can use it against you. And the exploitation that thing started a very long time. When I was a kid, I used to hear about that. But it became a so foot now. <laughs> time to amputate the so foot. I'm tearing off that. And teach, te teach those young girls, keep your legs closed and your brain open. Get an education. And you can learn from the cradle to the grave. So even like up in New York, you can't say, I don't want to go back to school. Start to enlighten your mind, so you're not going to be picking up on emotional stuff like what you used to do. It is time for all of us to make some changes. Okay, it is time. Now, I, I'm, I do not believe in criticizing, calling names. That is giving people more value. But we have to work within ourselves to get change. And the change is where? In the bag. In the bag. The change is I have all of these FBI papers in here. I can't show them to you. You know? So always make friends with other people who know people in high places so you can get something done. So that is how we have to roll. Stop backbiting and talking about other people. They're who they are. 
So we have a big problem at hand and we have to work at it. This is our main goal. Work at our problem now. And St. Vincent is for Vincentians. Not because I've been in New York long, I've been doing things, so when I go back in three months, I could mash up the place now. No, in a positive no, no. Don't way. Don't in a positive way. <laughs> you mash up the place in a positive way, man. Yeah, yeah, that is what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm not talking about crude and brutality. I'm talking about getting the minds of people. Start thinking differently. That is it. And I put something on Facebook with the carpenter's tools. We have to use some saw to saw. We have to use some hammer to hammer. Some chisel to chisel. And guess what? The measurement, we are going to measure from 1979 to now. What's going on? Listen, St. Vincent was better when we had E.T. Joshua. Now, I am pro St. Vincent. I'm not getting into PPP, NDP, Labour Party or else. I grew up in Camden Park, so I know what politics is all about. Four elections in eight years. Some of you need to think about that. But I must say, I learned something from Joshua. He was anti-Britain. Giles must go, and he got rid of administrative Giles. He was a man of action. But people didn't like him. But you see, he built him more schools. So all of us benefited from what he did. So before we start talking, go back in time, tell these young people who was doing what in those days. So I'm going to leave uh, my fellow Vincentians with this one. It is our duty. We are, we are the PM without a portfolio. We are the finance ministers without portfolio. So those people with portfolio, they're passing through. But we are the permanent PMs, the permanent minister of, portfo of finance, the permanent ministers of agriculture. I have gone places like Finland and I represented St. Vincent. I've gone places. When I do my writing, the first place I'm picking up, St. Vincent has the oldest botanical garden. And when someone said, oh, you're from a small island, I said, now the size of the gun is what the bullet does. <laughs> so we have to learn to put people in line, man. Yes. They know you are only rara, rara, so change your paradigm. Yes. Start being thinkers. So when people put out the damn propaganda, you're not buying it. Jackass talking, but not fools listening. <laughs> this is the kind of thing we need to put out there. This yeah, 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 calling people names. They know who they are. But we have to come up with something different. And I have what? The change is in the bag. Thank you. So this is all I have to say. And I get some flush, slush funds in three months' time. I can turn things around. Well, okay, you do not have to be no PM. I am my own PM from Camden Park. And I saw progress. I saw higher heights since I was a kid. So, God bless all of you. And we are looking forward for the results on Tuesday. Remember the ballot box. So if there are Espanyols in the ballot box, they are, they are going to be out. Peace and love. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. DJ, DJ, DJ. We need some deep. Yes. We need a little. At the time go, the rain come. Bless us. Now the good Lord hold it up so we can finish up. It is a good day. I want to thank all of you for showing up here. Some have already left. Some, some come and some go, but I thank all of you for coming. Don't make it the last time. We're going to Washington. We're going to tell you, we're going to put it on Facebook. We're going to Washington. We're going to Washington. I'm going to tell you when. We're going to Washington. We will take this fight to the Congress of the United States. When Ralph comes, they're going to know who he be, because we, Going tell them who you be before you get there. We're gonna hit you up with it. We're gonna hit you up with some with some song. We're gonna hit you up with some song. Yeah.
Bob. Have a good one. Bob MC is going to come up. He's going to say a few words and then he's going to give us one of his renditions. Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. To all the ladies that turn out. Yes, man. Do it. Goodbye. Yeah man, DPM say things are getting better. Lie. I say DPM sick. That is why he went to Cuba. Yes. For this election is a brand new trip. Yes. Let's come together, join hand in hands, and save SVG from mass destruction. Come yes. on, the road is sick. Treat us so, comrade. Why you have to go, hey? comrade? Do it, comrade. We are trying, comrade. Why you treat us so, comrade? Why you have to go, do it, come on. I was blind, but now I could see The things that you're doing is not pleasing to me Yes. <laughs> 
I said to my cousin when he came on the phone, which is this one. Yes. I so me not for point again. I don't know. Not coming. Uh -huh. I said, Lemos, how are you? He said, good. I said, people, mothers who are here. I said to my cousin, I love you. I'm not mad at you. I want you to tell me the truth. That's what I start off my conversation. I said, Lemos. Did you ever interfere with my daughter? You know like when somebody put up on hold for five minutes? Mm -hmm. Mr. Lemos? Mm -hmm. He come back to me. He said, if they have me, can I remember? Me said, well, listen, a five-year-old remember? Oh, I said, where is your mother? The mother come on the phone. I repeated myself what I told the mother, our audience here. The mother said to me, she never heard it. And I hope they're watching me. Hi, Annie. Hi. <laughs> you I hope all you're watching me the mother come I explain myself to the mother she said pet I never heard that story she said she heard a story she was in Cuba when she came back there was a story going around that this same kid who I have in my hand here was sitting on one of my cousin's lap you patches your daughter singing Christy <laughs> thank you very much and my daughter Christy out of this one lap run with the child to my grandmother's arm. I said to Annie, Annie, so don't you think if my daughter took another child and run, doesn't that tell you guys something was going on? Ah, I mean, I know. Well, you watch me so far. <laughs> ah, I mean, I know. Okay, me had enough of that. Me call my loving brother. Me explain the thing to my brother who lives far away. Want me a battery there? Yeah. Oh no, come on. I'll get you yeah, my charger. Look, charger there. Listen, I lose my thought. Where are they? Because I don't want to repeat myself. Somebody okay, run. fine. Uh, I call my brother. My brother say, Is this a, my brother said to me, Is this a gym? Are oh, you joking? I said, No, my brother lives far away from me, Hawaii. He said, Let me tell you something. Me not lie. Me and my daughter has a shaky relationship. And I'm going to tell all you why. She, but I'm not going to go into it because I know people are going to talk. Listen, because of the trauma that my daughter was going through all these years, my brother called my daughter and said, listen, your mother just called me and tell me such is the case. I was, well, I have an aunt. My aunt said to me, Pet, you better pray to God. Your daughter is going to tell the truth because if she don't, they're going to say you make it up. Immediately, my daughter, Donna, people I'm coming. I'm coming. I follow you and let you. We want to follow you. Yeah. Donna, we're taking you so long. Listen. <laughs> my daughter immediately admitted to her uncle. Yes, listen to the shock of her parents who did you know. Yes, I thought all of you know. Because I could not understand why nobody never tried to help me. And I have been depressed for years. Oh my God. Patches wow. night. You get it? So now me speaking out the one in AK me. Is he here yet? No. He is coming to tell me. It happened when my daughter was small. Excuse and my daughter me. is okay. Yeah, Excuse very nice. me. Could you imagine this? Excuse me. And, and next thing again, listen to this, Patches. One of my family tell me. I need Jesus. Miranda, do you have, do you have that? Do you have, did you record him? Were you on the telephone? Was it a message? It doesn't matter what well, I it's record. Evidence. No, it's evidence. It's not evidence. My law. daughter is the evidence. Okay, okay. good. Right. Good. My daughter admitted. Right? No. It yeah, sent me back now. My head started tingling. Go back to when you was traumatized. Listen, yeah. my mother knew this. My mother never tell me. Wow. My mother went to a grave with this. My family members know this, except for three of us. And the child, well, she's a big girl now. She said, my mom whip her behind. Oh, when she went, oh my God. Hey, I don't have more tears for crying. Me tell you. I hear an incident again. One time, my mom had told me years ago to um, send some money for her to buy a sheep. You know, back home. You know, kids. I did that. It's Whatever gone. the it's situation gonna, is, feed. Feed it, I guess the thing and I must see injuries. My child been for sheep and I'm on the road. My child again. Oh, <laughs> the people are in St. Peter's who is watching this feed. My name is Miranda Wood. Wow. Okay?
Let me get a little it's history it's about me. It's Some of you guys just know me it's since it's I came out with this gun's ass. I have a battery. I have a charger. I have but so after I had my son, so I, grew up, I consider myself grew up in a stable home. And after I had my son, I got I'm pregnant at 16. I'm not the You're first and I'm not the last. Right? And I'm I proud of life. my son. But I was He's 33 to. years old now. Okay. And I look 33 myself. Yeah. Right? Listen to this here. I don't believe this here. <laughs> We're going on in my life, eh? Annie Christopher, I am asking the parents of Leyu. All you feeding, eh? Mm -hmm. I'm a mother and I've been out here fighting for girls and boys who I never even no. know in St. Vincent. And, and myself, and for this girl, my beautiful black oh, sister oh. in my chest, mm -hmm. not knowing my own oh, is going oh. through. Wow. My child could have commit suicide. And you don't even know the reason. Wow. Now tell me this. Yes. Me and my child Rocky. And now I think about these patches. Because my daughter think mommy knew. And mommy she never rescued me. No. Oh God. That hurts. Wow. If it hurts. Oh, and Mr. Kemi, me here, he done a voicemail. I threaten me. When me don't hear my voice, send me the seven precinct. Kemi, all yes. pet up here. Why don't you come up? Holy <laughs> body bad. Kemi can't do me nothing. So people, I am warning people in Lehu. Le if your little girls has been getting contact with my aunt and been in my aunt's stay house, away, stay away. no, call your girl no, child no. because he look like he have a fetish for little girls who no. vulnerable. Oh. Talk and he's a football player. I ain't gonna look him up. Blamus Christopher, I just kick. I go only for St. Vincent. Oh my it's God. my cousin. Okay? You over there in the gray hat laughing. Is there, is there yes, it doesn't matter. So now I'm speaking of my family saying, I need Jesus Christ. No, me no need Jesus Christ. Yeah, me, 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 need Jesus. me need Jesus Christ. Yeah. Me cause me let up twang every now and then. Mm. But me know when I, I have very respect. This woman right here, look at ya. If she tell me Miranda stop me, I stop. Mm. She know me since my child. This woman here, Viola. So for my family, have a pedophile in my family put Christy Christopher to suck his penis and my family don't want me to speak out telling me here play football so wait I protect him when my child was in pain for years listen I think I said enough listen people I will be going live in the privacy of my home but I had to come out here. And Kemi, who is a father, telling me. <laughs> and my name's all right now. What? What? You call what? You're never all right to these things. Never, me. never pain, never go. What? Jesus. This is painful, dog. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. We have a rapist in the family. We have a pedophile in the Christopher family. Listen, Christopher. If you're not a pedophile, this does not go to you. But if you are a pedophile, you could take whatever you want to take it. I'm not a pedophile. You're what? I'm not a pedophile. I'm glad. That's my aunt. And there are a lot of other girls' names. So we just pray to God. My daughter is going to speak. I speak to a counselor. He tell me to leave her alone for now. I sent a beautiful letter for my child. So I'm leaving her. Let her come around people. But for the meantime, the therapist tell me because me start to call myself Mama Bear. Yeah. Defending her cub. You have to. Even though Mama Bear and the cub now get along yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Me defend me, pick me. Yeah, and me bring them into the wall. And me stop a king's come and give out to him for hours. Eh? And because my family, who is Annie Christopher, John Hill Christopher, crucify me, Kemi Christopher, better known as White Calypso name again. I help me now. Man Kemi. Man Kemi. So I said, Kemi, let me tell you something. Let me ask you something. You go on Facebook and speak. Who you think is going to be more credible? Mm. Who are they going to believe, people? Are you? Kemi, like, I so he go ground with the nonsense. Because he can't speak properly, he already stutter. But I'm not gonna go personal with Kemi. I love my cousin, but when there is wrong, there is wrong. 
right. The boy need help? Look, all you look for me live on Facebook. This all is all right. I have to say right Thank now, people. Thank pray you for Miranda. my daughter. Yes. 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 And pray for me. Thank you. Yes. And all you don't be surprised if I go to jail. No, you know. You're not going. Don't worry. No. Oh. Listen, I'll sometimes, tell you, look at that, eh? sometimes Shit. it's a painful thing to tell your story. Wow. And today yeah. is one of the Rose days started. when we come out here and we're and we talking about my the abuse, God, my God, my God. The abuse oh of women God, and children. And what you know, you know, you know, like this. I pray. And I hope that she came here for she brought her in. Some good counseling. <laughs> so she could be a better woman. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Listen. It doesn't matter if it is. I'm we got some more oh, music we're going to play. Um, the mother will stand there and protect the man who did wrong. And maybe that's the series of why the child never a relationship with the mother because she thought her mother knew and never so, protected her. So, as we wrap up, this is crazy. Thank you. It's human power. Yeah, purple is, yeah. yeah. My yeah. So time it is. Get me time. Yes. Yes. But I'm telling you, all you have to be proud. 
proud of what God has accomplished today. Listen, a woman, three ladies, at the University of the West Indies, who teaches at the University of the West Indies and they stand up to Ralph Gonsab and they shame him but hey what he's saying listen listen give me a get ladies ladies give me get, give me a minute give me a minute take a minute take a minute and the good all the raise some good some good questions but when we could sit down and talk we want to talk for now this is no mistake that you see some sort of mark 17 17 years of worthlessness have a stop 17 years of worthlessness have to stop it's time for the people of St. Benson to live there to hold them accountable for what they continue to do to our people in St. Benson I am grateful I am thankful that God has blessed us today with some mighty and wonderful people to come out and support us and give us some words of encouragement and I want you to go home to our place of abode knowing that we have done our best we have given this our best and for everyone here there's a thousand out there that you represent who prayed to come here today they prayed to come here today this protest is not going to stop. We will announce where we're going to have another one. We're probably going to keep coming here. March is Women's Month, right? March is Women's Month. And we're going to have a protest here. Um, pet, 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 pet. March is Women's Month. And we want to come back here on whatever Saturday March right here so we could get women to tell the story like how Pep tell a story tonight some, pe some people might think it's inappropriate but she's right that's right and not only that yeah so listen we got to come out and we got to support our sisters us men us men have to come out and stand and hold our sisters back keep the front and keep them from being abused by these people it gotta stop it gotta stop and St. Vincent the Grenadines St. Vincent the Grenadines is one of the is the third in one year it was the third highest country per capita in red when you got young children raping three boys rape a little girl in the school and hear what they say well guns have rape Eh? Another one going up to buy food by Kai. Sticky finger up, give another one. I say, Why are you doing them kind of thing? That ain't good. He said, Well, the prime minister don't do it. You see, people are following the bad example of a worthless man. And it gotta go. It gotta go. Stop, stop, come on, stop. Can I say one thing? I have to share this with you guys. After I got pregnant at a young age, for those who know me, I represent St. Vincent for years, playing at ball. I was a boss. And there was a guy in Layu named Brother. For you guys who come from Layu, somebody killed him a few years ago, right? I, Miranda Charles, was the first person to send that guy to jail for seven years. It seems as though they love to come and rape me. <laughs> he made an attempt to rape me. It's a good thing there was a lady, um, a that woman named Vaco back in the days in Leyu. She heard when I screamed. I had I had just had a man, so I was 16 going on 17. Oh, I'm sorry. And this guy attempted to rape me and burn down my aunt's house. This guy stayed in jail for seven years. After that, he always in jail. Somebody killed him the other day. So all you see, where my life starts, 
And so me a break is cycle. Me ain't never going out with me, but they love to break me. Have a good day. All right. As we wind down, as we wind this down, we want to thank you again for coming out. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna play some music. Gregory, music, music. Now until five o'clock, five thirty. Fabulous day. Yep, we're gonna get it coming.
Amen. You see the flashing lights? It means our time is up. We want to thank you for coming. We want to thank the police officer who sat there patiently protecting us. Thank you, Mr. Police officer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As we shut down. Have a good one, everybody. We gotta close down the music now. Yeah, you could Okay. What the bags? Clean up. We need a queen. What the bags? Clean up. Yeah, everybody. We got like we got like five minutes. So you're her aunt. Yes. You know my heart goes for her. When I look at the platform. I grieve inside. I say, poor girl. Yeah, she was yeah, sexually yeah, molested. Yeah, yeah. And then her daughter. Where is her daughter now? She's here. Oh, she's here. And that man is free. No, no, no. That man, something has to be done to him. She's not here, right, today? She <laughs> The police right here. The police right here. The police right here. Help me, we have one here. One here now. Everybody, you read. Stop all the stupidness. Let stupid. me stop in it. One more rip. Everybody, you read. I don't even need my ass. And if you are so wrong, I know you yet to die to blush. But it doesn't matter if party, a truth, you gotta speak the truth. When I come cause my go walk over there. Yes, go in the road, go get knocked down. There's a free country, bro, brother. Free country, thank God, is America. If I you, sing this you, have your, oh, oh, you, you could express that, we could express too. Okay, people, we're gonna sign out now. We have a lovely time. Such a wonderful evening. We gotta go now. We gotta go. We gotta go. Huh? Catching! Come in and pick you up. Come, come, come and pick you up. Remember we have to take a picture. And My God, no, no. I never got the opportunity to meet with Mr. Gonzalez. Never, never. I will never say that. Okay, the baby getting tired, so gotta go. Look, the police, the police was guarding us. The police say time to shut down, and we shut down. Okay? Goodbye, people. Goodbye, people. Somebody be calling. Hi. Wait, you never get me a camera. I did. Hi, Saint Vincent. Catherine, come pick up the girl. 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 Come pick up the girl.